guys welcome to my channel my name is Yadrissa and today as you can see by the title I'm going to show you guys how I got this custom hairline I have a low narrow hairline so I'm going to show you exactly the steps I use for the hair removal for customizing it to my exact hairline shape I'm going to show you how I also install this wig I'm going to be showing you all the details and the styling and all the products that I use in this video. So as always, just make sure you keep on watching. Stay tuned. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with a new video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so already. Stay tuned. So I'm going to be using this 13 by 6 frontal wig today. This is 8 inches and the color um, chocolate brown. I did get this wig from Amazon. Um, very affordable human hair. So if you're in here, if you're looking for something that's last minute, as you can see, it is pre-plucked. Um, I didn't really have to pluck the sides much, but I did customize my hairline um, because I do have a narrow hairline and I do have a separate video on that. But this is the wig that I'm going to be using today. So this is a Ruby Kisses and this is the concealer that I'm, I'm going to be using to apply to my lace of my wig because I wanted to match my complexion, my skin complexion. So I did apply that all over the lace of that wig just so it matches with my skin tone and I just just put the wig on just to make sure that everything is straight. I'm just trying to make sure everything is in the right place before I begin to install my wig today. I'm just using the clips to just move the hair out of the way. Um, this is just how I do it. I mean, some people can cut it um, without pinning the hair back, but I just don't want to make any mistakes. So I'm starting off with my ear tabs. I did pre-cut my ear tabs before, but there was just a little bit more lace that I could have cut off. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just cutting that extra lace off of the sides of my wig. I did have it marked off where I wanted to um, cut off how much lace on the sides of my wigs as well so i'm just brushing it back just prepping it for my wig install and i am going to be doing a glueless wig install today so if you um you know not too familiar with how to do the bonding glue like the ghost bond or the bold hole glue this would be an easy method to use this is a glueless method i am using the even adhesive um bonding spray and i'm going to be using this today to install my wig as you can see i'm just applying that even spray along the hairline of this wig just outlining my hairline i'm not putting it anywhere else but along my hairline i'm trying not to let it go any further than that and just trying to control it in place by just rubbing it in with the tip of my finger so that's what i'm trying to do here and I am going in with my blow dryer just to help with the drying process. I want it to dry a little bit faster. So that's why I was just using my blow dryer here. But I did go in with two to three layers of this um, Eben lace spray because I did want a medium hold and I did want it to last a little bit. So that's why I went in with a couple of layers. So this is a second layer of this even spray that I am using today. Make sure you rub it in and control it and use your blow dryer if you um, want to do it that way. Or you could just put the bands on and let it dry as you style your hair. Or you could just dry with the blow dryer and then go straight into customizing your wig. So after my lace was dry, I am going in with my scissors and I'm just pre-cutting the sides of this wig first. Um, I like to work in sections when I am installing my wig. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, there was some glue that did get on the lace that made it a little bit too far down on my head. So I separated that first and move the lace back towards my hairline and then cut in a jagged motion the lace the extra lace off of my wig as you can see here and i'm going to repeat the same here i'm just using the end of that comb just to separate that glue from my hair and 
push it back some because I wanted my um, I wanted to cut further back on my hairline and closer to the wig as you can see I am moving slow and moving in sections and moving in a jagged motion as well to cut the lace off of my lace front wig it's looking pretty good so good so far and just repeat on this side as well you're gonna be cutting in the jagged motion so that so that the line is not so prominent and noticeable I mean you could still notice that you know it is a lace but you know we just trying to blend it as much as we can by um, creating the jagged lines so now I'm going in with my Milani um, foundation plus concealer and I'm going to be using a eyeshadow brush to apply that foundation to the lace of my wig in the front and as you can see when I'm applying that foundation how it helps it blend so much better as you can see it's blending as we speak as I'm adding that um, foundation to my lace just to help it blend more and as you can see after I cut the lace off the extra lace off there were some parts that was still lifted up so what I'm doing is I'm going to be using that even spray to use as my melting spray I'm just spraying some of that on the tip of my finger and I'm just going to be going over the hairline and as you can see you can see that hairline basically disappear that lace is melting into my skin I'm moving in small sections and I'm spraying my finger and controlling the areas where I want that um, spray to go and I am going in with my blow dryer just to you know help it dry faster and just going straight into styling so for this style I wanted to do a side part so that is what I'm trying to do here um, and if you haven't done so already and if you like what you see here and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification so you're notified when I upload my um, new videos here on my channel let me know what you guys think of the video so far down in the description box in the comment section excuse me and also if you have any tips for me um on ways that i can better install my wig you can also leave that in the comment section y'all know everybody installs their wig different ways but um i'm still a beginner i um I, no i would say i'm like intermediate i'm not more so much a beginner but i am still learning is what i'm trying to say and i would love to learn different methods of how different people um install their wigs and maybe i can find a better way easier way and more seamless way to um install my wig so now i'm using this edge control this edge booster wax stick and i'm going to be using that applying that on the areas where i wanted to really lay down and be nice and sleek so I just put the wax stick though in those areas only and then I'm using my hot comb and I'm going to be smoothing it out with that hot comb so after I smoothed it out those areas and got it nice and flat how I wanted it to be I was thinking of adding a little curl in the front of my head so I did plug in my flat iron and I'm just going to try to add a small just a small swoop in the front of my head um, in this area I felt like it was a little bit too plain just being straight down I did bump the ends um as you can see I did add a little bit of a curl there but I did wind up later on a little bit later on after this just straightening it back to a regular um straight bob but I was just trying something to see if I did like how it um came out with the little swoop on the side of my um bob wig As you can see, I was over there running my mouth and trying to do it my hair at the same time. But let me know what you guys think of this hairstyle in the comment section. What you think of my install as well. And also, go check out some of my other videos that I have here posted on my channel. I do a lot of hair and um, makeup tutorials and special effects makeup as well. This is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy this video and also learn something from this video as well. Keep in touch. Check out some other videos that I have here on my channel. And also you can connect with me on my social media platforms. On Instagram. TikTok. 
and um, here on YouTube. Bye.